Arts Barn was an interesting creation. It was simply an endeavor of mine to help out a few friends that went to art shows, came home, and put their art in the closet. And that really upset me. So I said, I have this space. Why don't we clean it up? And you can hang your artwork and invite people in. And that is literally how this whole place started. It moved on from there. It moved on from the six original artists. We now have over 140 Pennsylvania artists in here. We know every single artist in here. They come in with new work. We get new artists in all the time. So this is a ever-changing environment. To someone walking in the door for the first time, it is an absolute delight for the eyes, for the senses, for all parts. You will be enriched by every single thing you see. The design is done, but you don't realize how beautiful and how much work goes into that. You are simply taken in by the artwork of all types. We have so many categories of art that it's hard to list them all. Even if you're talking about glass, we have blown glass, fused glass, painted glass. If you're talking about jewelry, we probably have about 10 different jewelers, everyone with a totally different style. All the artists here are unique in what they do. We won't take in more than one that does exactly the same art, so that this is one big family community with no competition among the artists here. We opened just this past week for our spring opening with a whole new look and lots of new artists. And we also presented a new art show called the Paperworks Art Show with seven artists and at least 10 different techniques to produce fine art using Simply Paper. We have a lot of exciting events. On April 27th, we have our yearly fundraiser for our education, our nonprofit center. It's very different this year. It's being held at the Landingville Fire Company and it's called Party with the Arts. There will be silent auctions and Chinese auctions and balloon auctions and there will be decorations and food and music all centered around Schuylkill County or as it's fondly known as Skook. It's hard to describe what art does for each person. It's very individual, art is very subjective, but people walk through here and you just get enlightened, you get inspired. I am amazed by the kinds of art. I'm amazed by the artists. There is so much to be gained by just appreciating art. A first timer walking through the door is generally overwhelmed. And even those of us who are here all the time at times are overwhelmed by the amount and the kind of art. Those of us who are here all the time still go over to something that we said, gee, we really hadn't looked at that so carefully before. It's amazing. Newcomers, you need to look up, down, all around, and we guarantee you won't see everything the first time through. Every piece of art in here, we call it art with heart. Every artist puts their heart and soul into what they do. We have so many categories of photography, paintings, woodwork of all kinds, metalwork of all kinds, jewelry, even something as simple as jellies, but every single piece has got a piece of that artist in it. We also have a very exciting second art show coming up in May. It'll run May 20th to the 30th. We are featuring a Cuban artist by the name of Kendra Panita, and her work is done for the visually impaired. We are partnering with the Community Services for Sight, and we have a blind artist that is coming to entertain, guitar, and sing. We will have those who are both visually impaired as well as completely blind, helping people to understand how you see without your eyes. We will also be taking this program into the schools. It's a great educational opportunity. The artwork itself is absolutely beautiful and we are very proud to be able to present this show. It's been seen in many other countries, so we are extremely proud to present Kendra's work and hope as many people as can will, will come and experience it. We have a couple of outreach programs that we're very proud of and we've been doing now for the past two years. We go into senior homes and do programs there with the residents and it's become a favored project of ours. We have a lot of volunteers that come with us and we look forward to those visits and the projects and the residents. It's a favored project and I don't miss it under any circumstances. We form a relationship 
and the craft project is simply a means to that relationship, and those classes are wonderful. The Arts Barn is located at 3 Berry Road, Schuylkill Haven, Pennsylvania, 17972. We are tucked way back here in the country, but there are lots of signs along the road to guide you in. Our location is ideal. People can sit out in the gardens. They can talk to our horses. We actually have one horse who was taught to paint, and we have her paintings here in the gallery. Because of our location, we are able to offer a lot of unique opportunities, such as indoor-outdoor events, a lot of the parties, the people book here, or meetings that are held here, or classes that are held here can be done inside and out. And we are the perfect location for a summer camp we offer summer camps for three to four year olds, five to seven year olds, and eight to 11 year olds. And we are inside and outside doing science, nature, and art. And we partner with such organizations as Hawk Mountain. Uh, we partner with the Bear Creek Festival. We have a new butterfly haven place coming this year. So we have a lot of opportunities to do things both inside and out because of our unique location. We have a lot of new artists. We also have our artists that have been here bringing in new work. So there's a lot of new items to see, new artists to get familiar with. Again, we can tell you about them. We're happy to do that. And you need to experience it probably every month or so because things change constantly here. <laughs>